Are Chrissy and I both ECMO trained? The answer to this is yes, but I think the underlying question and the question you're really asking is do I need to be ECMO trained or do I need to know devices in order to succeed and thrive in CRNA school? And the answer to the second question is absolutely not. It's this phenomenon of people who work in the ICU giving each other advice about how to get into CRNA school, but the reality is that people who work in critical care are not currently CRNAs and are not in CRNA school. So the advice ends up being a little bit misleading and also confusing at times. Now, patients who require mechanical circulatory support, like ECMO patients, are high acuity patients, but they are only one type of high acuity patient assignments that you can take in the ICU. In order to thrive as a CRNA and as a nurse anesthesia resident, what you need is years of experience in high acuity ICUs where you are consistently taking care of very critical patients. So my hot takes is that a stable VV ECMO is sometimes less acute on one particular shift than a crashing septic patient or a fresh post-op bleeding patient or a fresh trauma patient. A mechanical circulatory support patient is only one type of high acuity patient that you could take care of in the ICU. So if your unit takes devices, that's great. Seek out those patient assignments. But if not, do not stress out that this means that you're not gonna succeed in CRNA school.